I am withdrawing from the government benches to take my seat among my Conservative colleagues. A dramatic political twist to kick off the fall session of Parliament. In a shocking move, Ontario MP Leona Alislev crossed the floor in the House of Commons today, joining the Conservatives and ditching the Liberals. It's the first floor crossing the Liberals have faced since taking office. I ask the question, am I doing everything I can to serve my country and work for real change for Canadians? And the answer is no. Alice Lev is a former captain in the Royal Canadian Air Force. In 2015, she narrowly won her riding of Aurora Oak, Ridges Richmond Hill. And now, with one year to go before the next federal election, she decided to ditch the party which helped her win a seat in the House of Commons. My attempts to raise my concerns with this government were met with silence. Trudeau addressed the news minutes after it was made official. This is uh, something that uh, we're allowed for in our, our system, obviously. I wish her uh, well in her decision. The news couldn't come at a worse time for the Liberals. Faced with criticism over the failure of the Trans Mountain Pipeline and NAFTA talks that could see major blows to the auto and dairy industries, Trudeau headed into question period one MP short. But the Prime Minister's biggest failure was the Trans Mountain Pipeline. The courts ruled that he failed to execute the process and he has no plan to restart it. Does the Prime Minister understand that his failures are hurting Canadians all over the country? Over the past three years, we've seen uh, the lowest unemployment in 40 years. Mm -hmm. We've seen the creation of uh, over half a million new full-time jobs, mm -hmm. the fastest growth in the G7 uh, last year. With just over a year to go before the next federal election, Trudeau is facing a barrage of criticism over the economy, the environment and border security. That coupled with an unexpected floor crossing today, it was a rough day back to work for the Liberals, to say the least. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.